everybody. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, thank you for asking. Uh, so today is Saturday and I'm actually cooking today. Um, I usually don't cook. Um, we usually just eat whatever's in the fridge or we grab something to eat or we all just kind of do whatever on the weekends. But um, And lately, we haven't been home on the weekends, but this is the first weekend. No grandchildren are here. It's just me and my husband and my daughter and my son that are home. So that it's kind of nice and quiet and a little break from the boys. Um, yesterday we took them to the movies and I'll insert a clip, but we took them to go see Space Jam and that movie was a big thumbs up, big thumbs up. Loved it. It was very, very good. We had a really good time. And then after that, we took them home and then we came home and did nothing. So today I was on Pinterest and I was trying to find um, something that my daughter could eat. Um, she's getting real tired of salads and you know, she's just running out of options now. And so I found this keto um, friendly taquitos and well, they're taquitos to me. So, um, you know, it, it's, a lot different than what I would make, but um, they looked really good. So I think we're gonna try it. I'm gonna make some, and I'm also gonna make some guacamole. Um, but let me show you everything that comes, um, that is for inside the taquitos. Okay, so it asked for an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Um, it asked for about eight ounces of um, shredded cheese. This is Telemook sharp shredded cheese. I wanna say this is about a cup. So um, well, it could be a little more than a cup, but we like cheese. So I just used what was left of the block that we had. So um, I grated all that up. And then it asked for some sour cream. Now, everything else that I'm putting in, it doesn't ask for, but I feel like it needs some kind of spice or something with it. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put some paprika and I have some onion powder, garlic powder, just regular old sea salt and some black pepper. And then I did chop up, chop up one jalapeno and this is pretty spicy. I was not going, I was going to like add some crushed red pepper or maybe some cayenne, but with this, you, it definitely doesn't need it. And then I had purchased from Costco one whole rotisserie chicken and I have shredded it already and I put it in my um, in my mixing bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. And I'm also gonna put some parsley flakes. He called for spinach and I thought I had spinach. I guess I didn't and I didn't purchase any either and I don't plan on running out to the store or anything and I honestly don't have anything green to put in there because the cilantro that I had was bad. So um, those were the only two green things that I have besides some good old parsley flakes. So I'm just going to put some of this in just for color. I, I don't think it's going to matter because it's just the filling for the taquitos. Um, I do wish I had the spinach because I wanted to taste it with the spinach. But other than that, I think it's going to taste great. And then I'm going to roll it in some yellow corn tortillas and then we're going to fry them up. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the recipe does call for, I mean, it has measuring. I'm not really great at all this measuring so I don't even have the recipe pulled up I'm just gonna add what I think would be great with it and then um, I'm just gonna taste it and see how I like it and if I have to adjust the seasonings I will so um, let's just go ahead and get started okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shred up the chicken some more and then I'm gonna add the block of cream cheese to it Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me get a scraper. Okay, 
If you guys have never purchased a rotisserie chicken from Costco or Sam's Club, you need to. They are so good and you get so much chicken out of it and you can make so many different things with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the cream cheese to it. Let's give that a mix. Okay, this feels a little thick with the cream cheese, which is fine. And then I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of sour cream. So the sour cream definitely made it a lot looser and not so uh, so thick. And also too, you don't have to use a mixer. Um, I'm using it because it, it, it's just easier for me. If you have a hand mixer, you can use that. If not, just do it by hand. Either way, it's gonna work. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add all the cheese in. And I'm going to add all the jalapeno in. Give it a mix. Now I want to taste it. Let's give it a taste. I'm scared. Okay, that tastes pretty good. It, it is spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and add some parsley flakes, some pepper. You do definitely wanna add some seasoning because, you know, you just have the seasoning from the chicken and then from the cheese, really. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic garlic powder and a teaspoon of garlic salt or no I'm sorry of onion powder and then I'm going to add some paprika for some color and let's give it all a mix one more time Yeah, that jalapeno is spicy. Mm. That tastes really good. I don't remember if I added salt, but I'm adding salt again. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape this down. Okay, so that tastes really good. I actually really, um, sorry. I actually really like the way that tastes. Um, 
if you want your chicken more on the shredded side and not looking like it's tuna or just like chicken, you know, like chicken salad, you can do that. Just shred it and then just mix it all by hand. Um, but I chose this route because it's Saturday and I'm trying to be lazy. But that tastes pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my oil and um, heating up my tortillas and I'm going to start frying. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make some guacamole. I have about five of these big guys to make their, um, their ripen. Um, everybody makes their guacamole different. Um, I've heard people put milk in theirs, water in theirs, um, mayo in theirs. Um, to me, a guacamole is just avocado, lemon, or lime salt, pepper, and maybe some like crushed red pepper. I don't add anything else to it. That is it. To me, it comes out super creamy. It tastes good. It does what it's supposed to do. And that's really it. That's all I do with my guacamole. I don't feel you need to add any extra fat to it because this is plenty of fat. Um, I don't, I, that's just my opinion though. Everybody makes theirs different. I feel like if you add a sour cream or a Greek yogurt or maybe a mayo to it, that's no longer guacamole, it's a dip. You know, that's, that, but that's me, that's, my, that's what I see. So I'm gonna show you guys how I just make my guacamole. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I just go ahead and slice mine open and, you know, pray that they're all good because there are a lot of times where I have a lot of really bad avocados or I wait too long to use them and that's totally my fault or, you know, if they're too airy, you know, they're not going to be that great. Um, but these look really really good I love a good um, I'm not gonna use this one this one's not quite ripe enough well no I'll go ahead and use it um, I like a really good pasty avocado that's the only way I can explain it um, where they're super buttery and they're just really like a thick and creamy those are the best avocados to me i absolutely love those avocados if i get a good bag of those i'm in heaven because they just taste so good so i'm just scooping out all of the avocado from its casing And then the pits, I just hit it and it just comes right out. Some of them don't come out as easy, but this is just how I was taught to do it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So the bag of avocados that I got came with um, six avocados and um, one of them just wasn't ripe enough. So, but hey, five out of six is pretty darn good in my book. And we like guacamole in this house, so it will go pretty quickly. It'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just add some cracked black pepper. You don't have to add pepper, it's optional, um, but this is what I've always added, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add some salt, not too much because you can't take it out if you add too much salt. And some crushed red pepper, and then a half of a lemon. You don't have to put half, you could put less than that. I just like the 
the, the juices of it, it tastes really good. And then all I do is I just kind of, you know, just chop it all down, really. It doesn't take long for guacamole to be, for avocados to become guacamole, I should say. And you can leave it chunky if you like it chunky, or you can, you know, continue to mix it until it's super creamy however you like to eat yours. You can also use like a potato masher um, to mash it all up too. That might be a little bit faster, but I would rather not dirty another utensil if I don't need to. See how creamy it gets? To me, it, that's just the perfect consistency of a guacamole. No added fats, nothing to it, just some seasoning, a little bit of lemon, and that's it, you're good to go. I'm gonna taste this really quick, see if it needs any more salt. And it does. And I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit more lemon. Just like not even a fourth of a teaspoon. Still needs a little bit more salt. And that's it. That is my guacamole. This is how I make mine. Super creamy, little bit of chunks in there. You see the flecks of the crushed red pepper. It's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this up and put it in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna start on the taquitos. quick I wanted to show you guys how to store guacamole if you don't already know how um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and lay it over your container that you have your guacamole in whether it's a bowl or you know, plastic storage bin whatever and then you want to push the um, plastic wrap down flush on top of the guacamole. And the reasoning for that is because you don't want it to turn brown. You don't want it to form a skin and this will help prevent it from doing that. And then you just have it covered like that and then you just add the lid on top of it. Okay, so I see a lot of people on YouTube that make taquitos, they make them all different ways. Now, there are a lot of people that always ask like, okay, how do you roll it and get them to stay? Um, people use toothpicks, people use, um, you know, um, they'll use like a flour slurry to keep bind it together. I don't use any of that at all. I don't need to use it, but I'm gonna show you how I do it because, you know, with your corn tortillas, I've seen some people heat them up in a pan and then roll it or they'll run it through some oil really quick and then roll it i don't do that i put my corn tortillas on a paper plate or a regular plate or whatever i have in the microwave for about one minute and then i take them out and i roll them the steam from the corn tortilla helps hold it together so i'm going to show you guys how i do that right now Okay, so I have some regular yellow corn tortillas here. 
I know that in the on the recipe on Pinterest it shows to make it with flour tortillas um, but I'm not a real big fan of making those with flour tortillas because they seem to puff up and I I don't know sometimes they just don't work for me so if this is keto great if it's not I apologize but this is what I am using for today so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a paper plate and then I'm gonna stick them in the microwave for about one minute Okay, so I put these in the microwave for about a minute and 15 seconds, and you can see how soft they are, and they're very steamy and hot. So all I'm going to do, and with this chicken, I'm gonna get a spoon because um, this chicken has a lot going on in there, and usually I'm just using straight chicken, but this time around I got stuff mixed into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the flour tortillas, just like this. This one's the top one and it's a little harder on the top, but it's very um, moist on the bottom, which is perfect. And all I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and take some of the chicken mixture and put it, I put mine at the very corner of my, um, let me move this out of the way. I put mine at the very corner, just like that. And then all I do is I just roll it just like that and then i will tuck it oops i let it go i will tuck it like right here where the bowl is just to keep them there now i'm going to roll about five of them and then i'm going to put them into the pan now with a tortilla this small, you don't really want to add a ton of mixture in there. I mean, you, you can add as much as you like. I don't like adding a lot. Um, I just think that it's, it, you know, sometimes it just comes out on the sides and it's just too thick. And you just want to add enough to get um, that taste of the taquito that you want. But um, also, you just want them nice and you know, nice and small like a, a taquito supposed to be. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of taquitos out of this mixture. So what I'm going to do is whatever I don't use, I will save it and um, I will let my daughter use it for whatever she feels like cooking with, um, you know, or we can make more of these another day okay so I have about five there so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my tongs I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer so you can see can you see there we go and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like this with my tongue down that's it Same with the next one. And you're just gonna continue to do that. You wanna hold it hold it right there for a couple seconds just so it will grab, you know, the oil. And then just move on to the next one. And then you just wanna cook them until they're nice and crispy. You don't need um, toothpicks. You don't need a slurry to bind it together. You just need a little bit of patience and a microwave to steam these um, tortillas through, and that's it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to keep rolling, and then I'll be back with you guys when these ones are almost done. over 
So I had turned the temperature down on the oil a little earlier while I was making the guacamole. So the temperature went down and it also went down a lot more when I placed them in here. So I'm gonna turn the temperature up some just so it can crisp up a lot faster. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add more tortillas into the microwave. Okay, so here's how the taquitos came out. They're nice and crispy and crunchy and they're golden yellow. And over here, here is the leftover chicken mixture that I had. I just put it in a Ziploc bag, got all the air out of it, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer for the next time we wanna make these again, if we like them. Um, I already have the mixture ready to go and we can make some more. And then I have some uncooked um, taquitos that I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the freezer. And that way, if my daughter wants to make herself a few, um, she can just put them in the air fryer and cook some up. Okay, and this is how they came out. They're nice and crispy. I just put some green salsa and some red salsa on them and some guacamole and some sour cream. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. I know it's a bit different than what I normally put out, but I figure I need to start putting out more dinner um, videos. Um, I haven't been doing that and I need to. So um, I went ahead, I just wanted to give you guys this video for today. I do hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.